So I have been hearing so much about castor oil packs that I was like, okay, I got to look into this. I need to do a video on this. And when I looked online, I saw a lot of images kind of like this. Um, ads for, um, like, you know, you can go online, you can buy a castor oil pack. You can also make your own, by the way, but I did see these sort of images of what castor oil packs can look like. First of all, I want to know, for any of you who are watching, um, do you use castor oil packs? Have you purchased one like this or maybe a different one? Uh, do you make your own? Um, because that's what we are talking about today. Castor oil literally has become all all the rage. I have other videos in castor oil, but let's sort of break it down. Let's talk about what does castor oil packs do? Uh, is it worth the hype and all this good stuff? All right, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. I'm a practicing family physician. I do daily videos. Uh, if you've not liked and follow my page or subscribe to my channel, please do right now. Okay, so this is the thing, guys. Castor oil packs, you saw some of the images that I showed. Um, you can also make your own. So if you make your own, some of the instructions I saw online is um, this idea of getting a piece of cloth and generally the cloth is almost like a, a thicker type of material, like wool, something like that, like a dense material. I'm kind of looking at my notes because I've written down some notes from, from things I've seen. So a dense material like wool, and then um, the cloth is soaked in castor oil or castor oil is sort of poured on it. It's a, and, um, and then uh, this sort of cloth that's soaked in castor oil that has it on it is applied to the skin. Now, some people, when they apply it to the skin, like you saw with the castor oil packs, it looks like they were um, like almost had a contraption to keep it on. Many people are suggesting that you put them over the liver. Okay. Um, but th many places say, and, and um, uh, uh, online, it says you can kind of put it almost anywhere, many different places, not just over the liver, but that's a big place that people do it. Um, say, claiming that liver detoxing happens. We're going to talk more about that. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, oh, and the other thing is many people are using like either a heating pad with it or warming it or something like that so that it's a warm sort of pack on the on the abdomen or wherever you're using it. Okay, so that's a little bit of a breakdown of the castor oil packs. Um, some of the claims that we're seeing online, I know you guys have seen this, right? Um, they claim to sort of ease digestion, help with uh, bloating, maybe help with constipation. Many of the castor oil packs also say that they may help with um, a liver detox. I've also seen a lymphatic detox as well as being some of the claims, but also things like um, inflammation. And I've seen claims saying that that these castor oil packs can help with uh, period cramps, menstrual cramps, with period issues, PCOS, um, inflammation, just a lot of different things, quite honestly. So the big question is, um, you know, do castor oil packs do these things? Uh, and first of all, I should say that a lot of people swear by them. In fact, I have on some of my other videos about castor oil, I continually have people writing below saying, I use castor oil for this. I use castor oil packs for this and it works great for this. It works great for my cramps, etc." So that's one of the things I want to know from you guys is, you know, do you feel that it works for you? What do you use it for? Okay. But let's go back to the claims and talk about the evidence. First of all, um, we should remember that castor oil is really only FDA approved for the treatment of um, constipation. Okay. So that's the FDA approval. And that's when we ingest castor oil. Okay. So generally it's ingested and that's what's helping the constipation. All right. Now, um, the thing about it is I, I definitely see some benefits to castor oil packs. Let me tell you what some of the benefits I do see are. Okay. First of all, castor oil is an oil. So I can see that on the skin, it could be moisturizing for many people. Okay. That is something I definitely can see potentially happening. I also can see that, um, you know, when used as a pack and maybe if there's heat as well, that could feel really soothing against your stomach, um, wherever you're applying it, it could be very, very soothing. Right. I I mean, I think heating pads in general are soothing and I can't, I can't see why sort of a, uh, an oil that's warmed up sort of against the skin wouldn't be soothing as well. So I can absolutely, absolutely see that. And I'm totally behind that, you know? Um, but this is the thing, you know, when it comes to castor oil packs and some of the claims that are being made, um, unfortunately, there's just not a lot of solid evidence that we have um, that says that castor oil packs actually do these things. You know, yes, castor oil, when we ingest it, can help with constipation, but put on the outside of the stomach, well, n not so much evidence that it helps with that, although there are many people who feel like it does. 
process. Um, in terms of like the detox piece, a lot of people say a liver detox, lymphatic detox, detox. You know, this is how I feel about detoxes. Um, remember, our body is like pretty awesome, which is so, so good. Um, it kind of comes with a lot of the equipment that we need. Thank goodness for that, right? Um, and the organs that we have in our body actually do a great job of detoxing us already. Like we don't need something external to detox us. So what organs detox us? Well, it's our kidneys. Um, it is our liver. It is our gastrointestinal tract. It is our, um, our lungs. There are multiple parts of our body that actually help us detox. And for most people with these organs working right, they do their thing. So, you know, I have never felt that people need an external detox um, because, you know, you're going to get that from your organs. And what I should say, though, is, look, if you have lung problems, kidney problems, liver problems, yeah, um, then uh, we as the medical community have to intervene oftentimes. Uh, but there is no real evidence that says that castor oil packs is going to do the detoxing. OK, uh, the other things is balancing hormones. Um, you know, again, I think it's really the same thing for that. Um, not a lot of evidence in terms of the menstrual cramps and stuff like that. I really, really do believe that in terms of heating pad, like I get really bad menstrual cramps, full disclosure. Um, heat is so amazing. And I know that like a towel that was soaked in oil with heat would probably feel very soothing as well. Okay. What I'm saying here is that we don't have a lot of evidence that suggests that castor oil packs does all of the things that many brands and companies are claiming it does. What I would say, though, is that I know many of you have experienced a lot of positive benefits from doing this. And I think that the risk is probably very small, meaning if you like it, if you like using castor oil packs, you feel like it gives you some benefit, then for the most part, I don't think I have much of a problem with it. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is anytime we put anything external on our skin, like an oil or what have you, there are some people, of a, probably a very small percentage, but there are some people that might be at risk for having an allergic reaction to sort of any substance, right? The same thing goes for lotions and anything else, right? Some people just have allergic reactions or get itchy or whatever, rashes from certain creams and things like that. Same thing could happen with castor oil. So you want to make sure that your skin can sort of tolerate that. The other thing I would say too is, you know, you don't want to use it on open wounds, open cuts. Uh, I wouldn't do that. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't put a lot of things on open wounds and open cuts that's really not meant for them. OK, so that sort of falls in line as well. I know there are probably some other caveats I have, but those are just some that are really top of mind. Again, um, you know, castor oil packs, um, you know, I do love the idea. There's just not a lot of um, evidence that backs up what people are saying they do. Um, castor oil ingested, yes, can help with constipation. That's what it is FDA approved for. But once again, if you find that castor oil packs really soothe your soul, um, you know, I say go for it. You know, just make sure. I should say with heat, like any sort of heat source, like depending on how you're using it. I have a video on heating pads. Take, check that out if you're interested. But um, just make sure you're not using heat that's too high or too long or directly on the skin because I've actually seen like really bad burns with heating pads. So that, just keep that in mind if you're using it with heat. Uh, and just be very careful and safe because, again, it's an oil. You want to be very cautious with heat with that too. Anyway, I'd love to know like what you, what you do with castor oil packs, how you use them, etc. I know a lot of you feel like you benefit from them. And I'd love to hear more about this. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I check out my other videos on castor oil. Um, also uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. Consider joining my exclusive um, membership groups on Facebook and YouTube and on Instagram as well. We do private lives once a week. So you get exclusive content behind the scenes. Also, I'm on TikTok and Instagram and um, pretty much LinkedIn everywhere. <laughs> also check out my website, drjencaudle.com, uh, where you can sign up for my free uh, uh, health newsletter. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you.